Morning, Nassau County. The girlfriend of a 19-year-old who was stabbed to death Monday is talking. Police have said it was a love triangle, triangle but the girl disputes that. 22-year-old Haley Hutto says that she has gotten a lot of backlash from people, particularly on social media. This comes after police say that 22-year-old Zachary Fila stabbed her boyfriend, Thomas Erdman, after an argument. According to the police report, that argument was over a woman. Erdman was found on the driveway of his grandmother's home Monday morning. He died at the hospital. Fila is charged with his murder. Channel 4's Ashley Harding joins us live. Ashley, this girl says, you know what, this is not about me. That is what she's saying, Bruce, but she does say she'll never forget that terrible moment when she got that phone call, letting her know what had happened. She says this is a very difficult thing for her, but she says some people are pointing fingers at her. So we spoke with her and she's sharing her side of the story. I woke up to everybody calling my phone. For 22-year-old Haley Hudo, the last few days have been the hardest of her life. On Monday morning, officials say her boyfriend, 19-year-old Thomas Erdman, was stabbed to death in his driveway by one of her close friends, 22-year-old Zachary Fila. She says since the incident, she has been blamed for something out of her control and that her friend Zach and her boyfriend, who she called Tommy, had their own issues. And him and Tommy had their own opinions about each other. And like I said, I cannot control. I can't control their minds. I can't tell them what to do. To know your baby's hurting and there's nothing you can do to take it away is the worst feeling. Misty Hudo, Haley's mother, came to her rescue Sunday night after the 22-year-old had an argument with Thomas. We asked how Zachary got involved. Zach was not there. I called him. I called him and I talked to him because he had a missed call from me. And that was whenever I was walking down the road crying. And it's before I picked her up. Before she picked me up. But nothing, there was no words being said of, I hate Tommy and this and that. Like nothing was being said to make him do what what happened. Like what happened was it, what, it had nothing to do with me personally. You were just venting to him about the situation. Yeah, I was venting to him about what was going on. But she says she never thought this would happen. She says like Thomas's family, she too is hurting. I miss him just as much as everybody else. And I had a bond with him. Nobody that else. nobody else had. I just want to let everybody know that it's not my fault and that it hurts to be, hurts to have my name put on my boyfriend's death that's dead. It's not fair. That young woman and her mother say they both have spoken to detectives, but they are not part of that investigation. But of course, that investigation is still ongoing this morning. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4 the local station.